So this one particular day, and this is when I was awarded a Distinguished Flying Cross, was we flew out, got to the site just at pre-dawn, and we're on the radio with them, and they're, they're completely surrounded. You could hear the AK-47 fire, and, and what surprised me is you could hear bloodhounds. So they couldn't make an LZ. So they basically, I'm hovering right on top of them, and they said, tell our families we, we love them, and they writ them, written themselves off. And I said, no, we're not gonna do that. So I conferred with the crew, and they said, we're gonna go get them. So you essentially came to a hover, and this was that thick triple canopy jungle. So you just hovered around, and everybody, all eyes were looking. They said, okay, you're clear to descend. So you descend down beneath the first canopy, and then you search around and find another hole under the next canopy, go down through that, and then go down through the third canopy. So if you look up, it's just completely covered. By that time, now the NVA is shooting at us, so they we're taking fire. So now they all get on, and, and now it's time to get out. Well, you can't just pull pitch and go straight up. You gotta work your way out of the jungle just the way you came down. Of course, the, the bad guys are just spraying you as you're climbing up through it. And uh, so by the time I got out of it and the aircraft had bullet holes in it and your transmission pressure gauges were on zero because rounds were hitting the engine and transmission, but then kept flying. And, uh, and then I looked in the back and, and all I saw was, was eight smiling faces in the back.